It's just not happening, guys. We need a makeover. Cinderella Hair sponsors Katie. Katie Price is known as a model, author, fashion designer, and is a single mum of three. But she also has one of the most scrutinised personal lives in the country. Katie met Leo at Elton John's Oscars party last year, but they split six months later, and Katie told the world she was single. I'm single, 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 single. But after months apart, they've decided to give it another go. So me and Leo, we've kept it all in private, not in anyone's faces, and I'm glad we did it. And what would be, would be, and what people will see, they'll see. This time, now he's mastered English, Katie's teaching Leo Scottish. My name's Lynn and I'm from Scotland. My name is Leo and now he's in the Scotland. Leo's got more to learn as Katie reveals her Playboy past. You mean, if I had done this magazine Playboy yes. a year ago, like this, yes. you and me not together? No way. And third time's a charm for Katie. I can confirm that we are engaged. Katie's supposed to be doing a photo shoot with her horses to promote her equestrian clothing range. But the good old British weather has put a stop to it. And Katie's business partner, Kath, and photographer, Andy, need a new plan. We're going to have to turn what was an outdoor shoot into a, into a studio shoot. Yeah. This is what we call improvising. <clears throat> uh, well, basically, Kate's going to take about two hours to get her hair and makeup done, and I can't be bothered to wait. So I'm giving Andy a list of the outfits that we want to shoot. So I'm writing him a list of which boots to put with which trousers to put with which T-shirt at speed. She photographs at speed and uh, we do this at speed. Everything gets done at speed around here. See you later, darling. Have a lovely, take care. Yeah. Nice to see you. Okay. Cheers, Rose. Bye, love. Oh, It's taken all day to get ready, it's now half six and everyone started me at one o'clock. My hair has taken so long to wash, cut, blow dry style and it took about 15 minutes for makeup. <laughs> but the quick bit is actually going to be doing the shoot because all I have to do is just do that and that, which is so quick. So it's actually taken longer to do my hair than anything. Katie's convinced yeah. that she's the fastest model in the West, but boyfriend Leo isn't so sure, so bets are being placed on just how speedy the shoot will be. Stop watch from now, I reckon 30 20. minutes. I think it will take 20 minutes. Look. A little bit longer, maybe. The stopwatch. Okay, what do you think? Half an hour. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. What do you think? I say 20. 20 minutes. What 30 think? minutes. 45 minutes, I mean, think. Oh, yeah. really? 45 right, minutes. So, all get out, and as soon as he's oh, got the camera, hour. we start. Okay. All right, on your marks, get set, go! 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 go. Okay. That's, it, that's it one minute. This is competition. It's real. Kate is very quick now. Because I forgot the stylist did. How long time you work for Katie? Eight years. You never argue, Katie? Argue? No. No? No. Ah, you're very, uh, very patient. Yeah. No. Yeah, no arguments. No? She, she, I do what she tells me to <laughs> And <laughs> I just Do you remember around. your first day of picture for Katie? Yeah, I do, yeah. What? What Cypher, picture? In Cyprus. Is it sexy or very young? Katie? No, no, it wasn't sexy. It was uh, OK sexy. Magazine. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, yes, I thought she but nice. then she had boobs this big, which was you a bit, bit scary. No, a bit big. Yeah, not good. But too big. <laughs> but... Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, uh, yes, t-shirt. After this one, Katie looked amazing, as she always does, but I think just recently, she's really blossoming. Leo was in a really f playful mood. 
He was hilarious. Kate looks happy. She's at ease with herself and she's good fun to be with. Sometimes she can, she can be under the pressure. She can be a little bit tense, but today was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes. What? Why is yeah. it closing? I said 20. You yeah. did. Good, and everything's fine. And look, no my minutes. God. Amberley Castle in Sussex dates back to the 12th century and is rumoured to be haunted by the ghost of a former resident. Today it's been hired by clairvoyant Jane Wallace to use as a psychic school with her latest celebrity pupil, Katie Price. I'm quite excited about today because I think with Kate, she's got an amazing energy. She's actually got a very bubbly personality, so it's not all doom and gloom. And I think if she can sense, feel and touch spirit and if she can work with people on energy levels, I think actually she'll really enjoy it. Today I'm going to teach her how to open up her chakras, which is working with her energy points to connect to the spirit world and to tap into that energy. And then we're going to be working with different objects. So we're going to work with crystals um, and teach Katie how to actually do readings using crystals. And we're going to also teach her how to draw and connect with people's auras and energy fields. How are you? I'm well. Good. How are you? So welcome to Amberley Castle. It's got a really great energy here, so we can all learn to tap in. Um, we're the actual first psychic people to actually be allowed on site, which is really good. So we're going to walk you around to the garden, and I'll explain a little bit about what we're going to do. And Brilliant. And then we can start our psychic school, yeah? Katie's brought a group of pals, including her close friends Jane, Lara and Sally. But before the girls put their own clairvoyant okay, powers to the test, Psychic do. Jane is going to give them a reading that will reveal their past, present and future so through the medium one. of flowers. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just as we walk, just pick up a, a flower, so whatever one you want to go for. Oh, dear, and we're going to do a thing oh, called flower psychometry. Should I get one? I'll get the dead one. Get the, no, don't get the no, dead oh, one. Jane. Let's thank pretty. Same flower. Yours is actually really straight, <laughs> but this feels emotionally, Kate, it's about movement. On an emotional level, it feels about growth. So I kind of see a lot of love, a lot of happiness. I think over the next six months, you're going to see that everything, I just want to pull them up, everything's going to start to work and come together. And I feel like it's all about what you want rather than what everybody else wants. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. It's Bing always about what you want. Once her own fortune's been told, so Katie can't resist having a go on Sally's flower. You know, I reckon <laughs> that... It's just very simple, <laughs> no drum. She's like Noddy in the car, goes on, just puts up with everything. <laughs> See the little flower in the middle? Yeah. That's her floating. So it's this feeling of making sure that you're a mum to everybody, not your, just your own children. So it's this feeling of, right, I want to keep everyone safe and secure. Now, this did you know she had good. children? But she has. Because <laughs> <laughs> she has. She could tell by the body. Oh! oh, oh my God! <laughs> the girls move inside, and psychic Jane brings them up to speed on the lingo. I always have a keyword for every colour, so this is clarity to me. And then we've got the third eye, so this is purple. So I always see this as intuition or vision. And just feel the top of your head, feel it as a tight bud, and feel it opening into a flower. Just feel that opening. Now their buds have been opened, Katie and pals move on to their next psychic challenge, interpreting each other's auras by colouring in. But Katie's picked up on the presence of another entity altogether. For some reason, I want to do a red helmet end on someone. OK, so you want to do a helmet, yep. yep. And you know what it means already? I do. Really? She's actually drawing an energy of somebody that's in the room. And now I've gone funny. It was basically there was a it's helmet. Because... So keep going with the colours. Write a signature or a name. Write a name? Yeah, or just write anything like a scribble and then we'll see if we can get a name from it with a crown. There's two names that come okay. up. Don't ask me why, Damien. And Anthony. So the names will be linked with him. Really? Next okay. up, it's time for friend Jane to draw Katie's yeah. aura. That was a pink, that was a but last. But why so the that fuck got... have you got black? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Maybe it's her natural colour coming through. <laughs> At least I'm not grey. Yes. You're just taking the piss, aren't you? <laughs> She's sensitive. <laughs> 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 
Sunshine. It'll be sunshine. <laughs> What's the yellow bit in the middle? To me, I see that as your passion. It's finding your stability. It's finding your grounding. Oh, it's nothing to do with babies or bambinos. We said that mm -hmm. earlier, but yeah, but... We oh, that to... could be, couldn't it? The sunshine area. You need to be it's... careful, fertility-wise. That's a really necessity. What do you mean? Because you make it bad. Well, I haven't in four years. And I haven't used any contraception. Well, OK. Well, I've been in relationships. Mm -hmm. I'm just... It's true. Mm -hmm. Never. I know. I know. You've got to slow down. You've got to assess your life and go, right, do I want this? And no more being bad, it's just saying, right, this is it, I'm loyal, I'm there, and I'm all yours. But that's whether you can give yourself to someone wholeheartedly, not just half-heartedly. The psychic advice is coming thick and fast. It's a lot for Katie to take in. she done a reading on me, but it's very hard for me because I always think that someone done their research on me, but she did say a few things that no one else would have known. Mainly it's predominantly about men, to be honest, about how I've been hurt. Obviously, it's obvious that I've been hurt. She thought me and Pete were going to get back together and that we'd get on and that he still loves me and that, and I said, no chance. The green boulder is about, for you, it's about healing that heart. I think because she's had such a rough history in the past with love, and I think that's what she wants to know. Is she going to meet the right man? Is he going to make her happy? Is he going to give her the security on an emotional level that she desires and that she needs? And I feel it's right in front of her. She just has to open her eyes and see what everybody else was seeing. So, obviously, the chandelier's moving now. Why is that moving? Because there's energy. Are you serious? And it's serious. What about me? Gosh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come, Katie finds out if she's losing her hair. See, so there's definitely hair missing there. While ladies' man Leo might lose something else. Ah! <laughs> no, please! Katie's come to Glasgow on a shopping trip with a difference. She's not hitting the high street. Instead, she's been invited to grab some freebies from a fashion warehouse. Boyfriend Leo is tagging along for the day, and since his English is getting better, Katie's decided to teach him some Scottish as well. My name's Katie Price, and I'm from Scotland. No. It is. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea and shortbread? <laughs> <laughs> say this, say... I'm Leo, and I'm from Glasgow. I'm Leo, I'm from Glasgow. Come on, the cup of tea, please. <laughs> and coffee. Shortbread. Shortbread. Now they're speaking the language, it's time to meet the locals. Hiya. Hi. Hiya, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm all good. How are you? Very good, how are you? I'm good. It's a family-run company, and Katie's been introduced to its youngest member. I love babies. Maybe three more of the year. I will, yeah. yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> Fabric. Huh? War for more kids? I will have more kids. What do you think, I mean? I mean, father of your kids? Do you want to be? <laughs> Kate, you think I'm is the father that you featured? Yes, kids? Leo. <laughs> Look at the camera. Oh yes, Leo will be the father of my kids. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Katie's here to see the latest products, and first up is new makeup craze: temporary lip tattoos. That's quite cool, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. Good to be British. <laughs> Leo's keen to show he's the hottest model in town. Woo. Your body's better than that, naturally. Hello? Yours is better. Yeah, Amy. Your no? arms are bigger, aren't they? One second. Oh, funny, <laughs> okay. Very similar. You cado? Cado? <laughs> cado? Cado? I'm cuddling, Leo. Cado. Katie's here to get her hands on more than just a mannequin. She's looking to bag an outfit for an upcoming appearance on TV show The Apprentice, You're Fired. That, that's what I like. It, that is very me. It's totally you. Isn't it? Yeah. Someday my prince will come. <laughs> Love that. Leo doesn't want to miss out on the dress-up action, so he's getting kitted out Braveheart style. But his first major battle is the language barrier. That or that to choose from. But yeah, but before one people, it's an explication, that 
see your name. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What's it normal? What do you mean, no? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's good, it's good. <laughs> what do you mean? You? What do you mean? For me, it's a new accent. Scottish? Yeah, Scottish. It's, it's new. Scottish is a new one to you. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, it's gonna. You know, yeah. We don't understand English. What, you don't understand what I mean? Uh -huh. Wait. Sometimes. What now? Do you want to get in a coat? Yeah. Get in a coat then. <laughs> Okay. Really, you understand the, this one, no? Do I understand you taking your top off? Perfectly. This is the You think you've got no butt? Are oh. you flirting? What? Are you flirting? <sighs> He's gone red. Continue. It's red because, yes, it's very... Not interested. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> While Leo continues to get up close and personal with his tartan tailors, Katie's determined to grab his attention. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! No, please, Kate! No more, please! <laughs> now what are you doing? <laughs> oh shit! What are you doing? Oh. Oh my god! What are you doing? <laughs> you know yours. What? Oh shit. Oh, Leo. What's well, Leo? Oh, come on. Come on. Get off. <laughs> Get off. It's his mother. At last, Leo's donned his kilt, but there's one final detail to make the look complete. Yeah. Take them off and put them on here for later. Really? Okay. Now he's been fully debriefed, Leo's keen to show his lassie that he's a true Scotsman. Oh, Leo, please, my makeup. Hey, no now. Please, calm down. Why would I do that? Yes, okay. Okay. See ya. Why would I really be excited about having these boxer shorts in my face? Oh, no. Woohoo! I think Leo's excited because he's actually come to work with me for a day. Because normally it's like. You know, I go off and do my thing. I don't really say what I'm doing. And when I said I was coming up here, so like, oh, what, what do you do up in Glasgow? And I went, well, I'm just going to a warehouse where they do clothes. And I think he thought, why would you be going up there just to a warehouse to visit clothes? I don't know, I don't think he believed me and thought, no, actually, he's going up here for something else. So I said, well, come then. So we did, and I've been in a warehouse all day of clothes. <laughs> One second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he, at least he got a chance to put a quilt on. A kilt, I mean. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Today, Katie's come to a hair loss clinic to try a revolutionary new treatment. I believe I have hair loss. Where I've had years of extensions, years of colour, I find round here I'm thinning a bit, which is quite common when girls have extensions. You get quite thin here. So I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go, why not? If this treatment works, that means my own hair will grow long and luxurious again. Um, as for still having extensions, I think we're a long way off discussing that because, you know, hair still takes time to grow. It's not like I'm going to wake up and my hair's going to be like a cabbage patch doll and it just goes, whoo, I've got spaghetti hair. I've got to do a programme. Hair therapist Sophie will be in charge of Katie's treatment. But before it can start, she needs to have a closer look at Katie's scalp. A much closer look. That can't be my hair. Are you serious? Cool, isn't That's it? That's what hair looks like, that yeah. close up. They look like spider's legs, don't they? Don't you think here I'm, like, bald? Or is it just me? I think I'm really thin, my hair here. See, there's definitely hair missing there. Right, if you actually look at it, all of your follicles have hair coming out of them. What about that patch there? but there isn't a follicle there at all. Right. That's just how far spaced apart your hairs are and your follicles are. Imagine if you saw a nick go across there. <laughs> it's not a case that the hairs have been pulled out and you're balding. It's just that in those areas, the hairs are much finer. Right. That's all. So that's a good thing. 
With that nitty gritty out of the way, Sophie photographs Katie's thinning patches before the treatment begins. I'm just about to go on holiday <laughs> to the sunshine. I will see you soon. <laughs> Katie is placed under a helmet emitting low level laser light, which aims to stimulate thicker growth. I feel like I'm an old lady in my rollers having my hair set. Katie's extensions may be the root cause of her thinning hair, but she places the blame firmly on the shoulders of a hairstylist who gave her a dramatic new look several years ago. He thought he'd do a Meg Ryan look on me, knowing my hair's really curly. Yeah, it look, may have looked all right after he blow dried it in the hairdressers, but as soon as it got wet again, I wouldn't have a clue how to blow. It was just awful. I cried and I wore a baseball cap out of the um, hairdressers. So I, it is his reason why I have extensions, because he cut all my hair off. So my hair has never been the same since that day. I will never, never, never have my hair short again. I, I just don't suit short hair. I'm, I'm a girly girl and I like to have hair. I don't like short hair. I like it on other people. When I see other people, I'm like, oh, I'd love to have short hair for a day, just to like pull it in a nice little quiff and that just got out of bed look. But because, I don't know, I think because I've got bigger boobs and I feel like a pinhead, basically. I, mean, it would make, I think it would make me feel fat, having short hair. OK, all finished. Oh, is that I it? You probably want to keep them, because they're so nice. Beautiful. 13 minutes later and the laser helmet has done its work. Yeah. But yeah. Katie will need regular That's sessions cool. if she's to see any improvement on top. I'm going to get hair out here. <laughs> Still to come, Leo's got some first aid lessons to learn, pricey style. <laughs> and Katie gets a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> what the fuck? Katie's been booked to appear on the TV show The Apprentice, You're Fired, and she's en route to the studios in West London. However, today she's not feeling her best. I'm on my way to the apprentice. All I want to do is curl up and lie in bed. I've got the worst cystitis in the world to the point that I've got Leo driving my car. I'm sitting in the back, sitting on one of these, weeing in it. I'm supposed to be there in an hour, although we don't start filming for at least a few hours yet. I can't let them down at short notice but I'm in agony, sitting in the back here, sitting on the pot. <laughs> Careful, Leo, please, otherwise weed's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> Left, and there's loads of people outside, and I'm sitting in a plastic lunchbox. <laughs> no, that would be all right, Leo. Hey! Leo, where's the studio? It's there, isn't Pero it? Pero Cristina is parking day. Leo. No, parking no, day, look, not. look, 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 look. Leo. Where's the parking? But Katie's got more problems than just finding a place to park. I can't do the show. He hasn't even put my fucking bag in the car. I've got nothing to wear. So pissed off. This, this is an omen not to be doing this, you know that. Too many things are going wrong. I'll see you in a minute, Leo. Mm -hmm. When your other half lets you down, there's only one person a celebrity can turn to in their hour of need, their personal assistant. Disaster again, Catherine. I've got here, and Leo forgot to put my bag in the car, got nothing to wear, so I need a car to pick my clothes up. Yeah, to bring it up. So I'm in a tracksuit and a T-shirt, and when I said to them, this is all I've got to wear, by the way they looked at me in disgust, it was like, you can't go on wearing that. From the two shows I've seen, it's not really respectable to go on like this, even though you don't see my bottom half. So now I've got Catherine to arrange a car to get my clothes. I'm not stressed, I'm at the studio now. I'm just stressing because I know every time I move, I'm going to sit on the toilet. Yeah, but you never application I made, you pack. Never. I did. No. You're too worried about you, what coat you're putting no, on. No, because I mean, it's in the uh, living room. You never have to be Okay, it's my fault with you, Jock. Have you put makeup on today? What? Tell the truth. No way. See, if I get a wipe and go over your face, you haven't got makeup on. Come on. 
Have oh, you got makeup? No makeup. Promise. No. Fake tan, moisturizer, yeah. No. You lie. No. Oh. <sighs> Let me think. It's good. It's color pink. It's good for you. Would you go on TV wearing a tracksuit? Yeah. No, you wouldn't, because whenever I've seen you on TV, you wear a suit, a skinny little tie, as thin as my finger, thinking you're in a rock band, and that's how you go on. While Katie's waiting for her outfit to be delivered, the first emergency package to arrive is her antibiotics. Oh, dear. It's it smell. Ooh. Oh, that smells quite nice. D drink it, then. Oh, I ain't got some sizes. I'm all right. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What's it? It says diluted. Put your tongue on that. What's it? Uh, put your tongue on that. <laughs> You're not bad. Go on, then do it again. <laughs> One more, go on. That is for women's vaginas. Give it here. Yeah. Appearing on a show like The Apprentice has turned Katie's thoughts to her own business empire. Do you know what I was thinking the other day? There's still so much I want to achieve and do. I'm actually like going to buckle down. I don't know, loads of product. I need to get my finger out my ass and start doing more things about it. What do you still want to Because at the moment, all I'm doing is working to pay people's wages. Hello? That's all I do. <laughs> One person who's earned their pay packet today is Katie's PA. Just as the studio audience arrive, so does Katie's outfit. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. That's it. But that doesn't mean Leo's off the hook. I'm ready. Goodbye. I've got no perfume, nothing. Someone's decided. I'm not bring anything. Earlier this week, Katie started treatment for her thinning scalp. But hers isn't the only hair in the Price family that's in need of some attention. So today, while she's having her latest Hello. batch of extensions added, celebrity hairdresser Daniel Johnson has come back to cut Harvey's hair. His last haircut for Harvey caused some controversy in the press, but an undeterred Katie wants Harvey to maintain the style. But before he gets to work on the young Mr. Price, yeah. mop top Uncle Danny is first in the chair. Yeah, you might be next. Well, you saw his beard out and all that as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Hey, what, 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 We're going to make you look young, Dan. This is called 10 years younger. Feels so nice. Does it? Yeah. Do you know? I don't have to go to the gym and lose weight anymore, Kate. I'll just get me out of every three months. All the porn stuff. <laughs> 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 but we love oh. you, Am I, I, was on a, I was on a modelling shoot as Kate then. Trust me, Dan, you're going to look good. They were nice. I remember when. Um, Daniel did Harvey's hair first time round. Yeah. And I thought that was quite impressive. Oh, Dan. I've got a good, good jawline, so I'm just trying to match it with that, really. Did you hear that? They have a good jawline, square. <laughs> Didn't you look different? I don't know, do I? Oh, a twirl, Dan. <laughs> look at him. Dan's new do meets with Katie's approval, but even more importantly, his wife Louise is impressed too. Looks good. Oh, 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 so much no, I mean... I'm never going to take Kate's crown away. You know, she is the, the model figure of the family. She is the one we all aspire to. You know, the, the, the diet and the fitness and the looks and the locks. But tonight, it's me. I'm taking the limelight for at least three minutes. <laughs> Harvey's been kept waiting, but finally it's his turn. Well done, exhausted, Mum. <laughs> You've only just started. While he's getting his hair sorted, Harvey tells Katie exactly what he thinks of the current state of her mane. Mummy, look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Look at Mummy's short hair, look. I hate it. <laughs> what do you hate, Harvey? You hate what? I hate the hair. <laughs> what, Mummy's hair? Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Harvey's looking dapper, but his mum is not feeling at her most glamorous. This, uh, this is the ugliest 
anyone would ever see me as what I look like now. Yeah. I've got no hair accent. I don't know. How do you fancy me, Leo? Honestly. <laughs> I look so ugly with no makeup on and bald hair like this. Must be the personality. <laughs> Later this week, Katie's flying to South Africa on a safari holiday. But getting away from it all in a remote foreign location has raised some safety concerns. So Katie's hired a first aid trainer to teach her and Leo the basics of emergency treatment. Everyone should do a first aid course um, in case something happens. But the reason why I don't like to do a first aid course because it's like I feel like I'm jinxing myself that something's going to happen and I'll end up using what I've learned today on something that's going to happen, if that makes sense. The woman tasked with teaching Katie and Leo is first aid trainer Barbara Cherryman, and her mum Amy's been roped in to play dummy. To the top of that leg there. Yeah. So let's get this leg up as near to the bottom as it'll go. Hold yeah. on there. If you only got one breath, not breathing normally. Shallow All breathing, right. OK. Yeah, and if she's breathing normally, you, yeah. now you can leave her and go and get the ambulance. Barbara's keen to teach her pupils CPR. But Katie's got concerns about going mouth to mouth with her rubber visitor. So I'll give her a clean. Oh god, I'm really OCD about. Now these oh, are shut up. these are the rolls. Shut up, Mum! How many mouths do you think I've been on that? This this has got new lungs and a brand new face. Okay, never been touched before, okay. apart from my lips. Oh, stop it! Yeah, but I don't, like, I don't like things like <coughs> that. Can I just do one more? Just of course oh, you can, darling. Yeah, whatever I need you to want. Take some of these whatever with me, won't I? I'd have to get something oh, like no. this, wouldn't I? All right, all right. Well, get... Yeah, but I get funny. It, and it's things. absolutely Has fine. Has it got bogeys, is it? No, but it makes you feel ill. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I think you've done it enough. But yeah. that is a brand new face. Okay. okay. No, but you, oh, it's Inside. all done properly. To, yeah. It's like... To raise it up. It looks realistic, doesn't it? It's about your minute. Is it really? Leah, want to have a go? A little bit faster. Yeah. Too fast, a little bit slower. Sounds like the bed. <laughs> Head tilt. <laughs> Head tilt. <laughs> British resuscitation yeah, techniques you, seem to be puzzling Argentinian Leo. What's the after the solution? She just people not perfect. You yeah. keep going. You keep yeah, going. Yeah, it's not perfect. Not perfect. They're dead. They're dead. To revive his patient, ex-military man Leo's got a more complex procedure in mind. Oh, you think. Ah, now, I see. We're talking about the emergency tracheotomy with a okay. biro. Oh. Is right. they? But we're not all advanced like that, Leo. No, we yeah. wouldn't do that, would we? If you <laughs> did that to somebody in England, you'll get done for he murder. You'll go to prison. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. Because the chances of you doing it properly, very tiny, small. You will kill them. Yeah, but it's, see, you understand. You see, you do that. See, I mean, understand. Yeah, you do that hole there, yeah. and they are dead, and then do, 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 ambulance. Oh dear, you have made a very big mistake. Yeah, but it's because she... the ambulance is here. Was the time and, the and ambulance? You, and you've killed them. I'll come and visit you. Well, visit. Come and visit you in prison. <laughs> we'll come and see you in prison. <laughs> no, I mean no important. <laughs> see, I'm and three days after the yes meeting, it's one accident. It's no important. It's, I mean, it's uh, well, oh. well, What's... nobody can say that you didn't that you weren't told. I'm keen to convince Leo not to get his penknife out next time she's choking. Casey demonstrates a safer way to tackle an airway obstruction. You wouldn't do it on an airway, would you? I've never had a class quite like this before, I'll say. Still to come, Leo's got a confession to make. If you knew what I did before you met me, would you have wanted me? No. What? And Katie also has something to share. I can confirm that we are engaged. Today, Katie's in East London for a photo shoot with top glamour photographer Alan Strutt. It's the final item on the agenda before her trip to South Africa. How are you? Good. Good. Hi, man. Hello. Hello. After enjoying his time in Glasgow, Leo's once again following Katie for the day to watch her do the business in front of the camera. But he's going to see more than he bargained for because Katie's stylist has brought along a back issue of a certain magazine. And it seems Leo's not familiar with Katie's entire body of work. Look how fat I am. What the fuck? <laughs> I miss doing shoots like that. Do you? 
Well, we're going to do, do some do of that one today. There if you want. The EU is in the Los Oscar. Yeah. The EU is in this victory. Uh, oh, I understand you. I don't it's, understand. What do you mean? Uh, is that you, you saying if she looked like that when you went to the Oscars? If you met her at the Oscars, um, looking like that. Oh, well, you mean if I had done this magazine Playboy yes. a year ago, like this, yes. you and me not together? No way. Look at this one. What? This is no normal way. Why? You do that on the beach, Leo. Because it's not the beach. Yeah, of course you sit you on the beach. You do that on the beach. <laughs> If you knew what I did before you met me, would you have wanted me? No. What? No way. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Because no. Okay. Stop. Now you understand what I do. Yeah. If you don't like it, why are you still here? Oh, no. It's my first day in this picture, Katie. <laughs> oh, God, I've stopped yeah. Not before. You're different now than 10 years ago. Yeah. Because you now, yes, picture is in position. Shut up, what do you mean it's impossible? Impossible. Well, do you want to bet? Look at your body. Look, I think it's not necessary, this picture. Well, guess what? I've had ten years of it. Yeah, it's good it's for you. it's going to be necessary today, because it's all coming out. misgivings about Katie's Playboy past, today it's a case of, if you can't beat them, join them. Hey, you've got Wisconsin on one of your eyes, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> now the photo shoot is over, Katie's expecting a visitor. Last year, while making her anti-bullying documentary, Standing Up for Harvey, Katie met with several young people with disabilities. She invited one of them, 22-year-old Katie Maguire, to get a makeover. And so today, she's joining her at the photo studio. Hi, Jen. Hello. Nice to see you, Jen. <laughs> How, are you? How are you? I'm good. good. Are you excited yeah. for today? Can't wait. Really? <laughs> get all your hair and makeup done? Yeah. Yeah. Are you still with your boyfriend? No, I'm not. Are oh, you not with him anymore? No, not anymore. No. Oh. He's dumped her. Uh, oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are he's you not, her mum? Yeah. Nice to meet you. you. This is Sally. She'll be doing your makeup. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wore eyelashes before? No. Would you like us to put some lashes on yes. you? There you go, Sally. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? Yeah. Might give you the old. Uh, the old Jordan look, but smoky eyes, but lashes. Smoky, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might put your hair like in that. some rollers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Would you like that? <laughs> I love that. Do you? Well, we'll have to do that then. Proper okay. go to town. Sally's done her bit, photographer Alan has offered to snap his second Katie of the day. Check my exposure. That's good, perfect. Chin down a fraction. The lashes feel. I've got my hair there as well. So look, you've probably got one there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Have a look. <laughs> um, that one, it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Let's look at the ones with you on your own. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Do you like it? <laughs> yes, I like it. You want to send that to your ex boyfriend and say, look what you're missing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. She looks great. I think the makeup's fantastic, actually. She's really done it well. Yeah, she looked great in the photographs as well, so pleased with that, really pleased. I'm proud of my girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my little star. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always a star today. <laughs> yeah. It's the next morning on the Price Estate, and Katie and Leo are busy packing. 
Today they fly to South Africa for a safari holiday, so they're saying their goodbyes to the rest of the family. Leo, yeah. I'm going. And um, what? You better be good with my yeah. daughter. Thank you. You be good with her. Yeah, very good. And give me a cuddle. Well, come on. Don't kiss me properly then. Oh, bye. Right. Bye. Bring me later. Did you see that? Two more. One more. Yeah. I've done all my packing, but I'm a bit worried because I'm too organised and I don't like that. So either A, I will lose the bag, two, we'll miss the flight, or three, I don't know. What? <laughs> I said, I feel something is going to go wrong. Yeah? Oh my god. What? Mm. Lots. Disgusting. Yeah. But you're a lady as mouth. I like your mouth? Yeah. Isn't it funny? I understand everything you're saying, but I bet other people are like, what is he saying? For what? When you talk, yeah. sometimes you don't pronounce the word properly. Uh, yes. But I understand what you're saying. You think? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, one year ago, now I speak English. Yeah. yeah and now you speak English? More, but not perfect. Well you, well, you understand everything I say? Yeah, of course. But it's fine. But you understand where you act to. Sometimes you understand. No one understands my attitude. Yeah. My name is PP. Pricey Problem. What's it, your name? Pricey Problem. Pricey pro Problem. PP. Yeah, you big, big problem for but many are, people. But I think you like big problems. No, no, no. It's mommy? time for Harvey to say goodbye with kisses for mummy. Mm. And Hello, some Spanish for Leo. Ciao. Ciao, Leo. I can start perfect Leo. Don't lose joy perfect Leo. Oh, goodbye. You know what, mummy? Very good. Bye bye. Happy Easter. Happy Easter? Yeah. No, we've had Easter. What do you think is good? Leo, if you look at yourself anymore, <laughs> there'll be no reflection. Hi, everyone. As they make their way to the airport, Katie has a confession to make. There's more to this romantic getaway than meets the eye. Well, we're at the airport. I think I'm going to go and buy a book to read on the aeroplane. And as we're going on holiday, because we are engaged. I'm not going into details about when we ordered the ring, how he proposed, but I can confirm that we are engaged. And that's all you're getting from me this side of the trip. See you in South Africa. Next time, Katie and Leo celebrate their engagement with a safari trip in South Africa. Amazing. Look at that. Oh. They get up close to some of the most dangerous animals in the world. Could this one kill us? Oh my god! <laughs> and Katie and Leo run through their wedding plans. I do. I do. We're heading right back to the early days of Criminal Minds with a season one classic next tonight on Sky Living HD. Sky Atlantic HD is boasting brand new addictive American drama, The Newsroom, hot off the press. Or if you're in the mood to be scared witless, Paranormal Activity 3 is our Sky Movies premiere in HD, also on demand.